<laughs> Glad you have the name. Hi, my name is Michael Beebe. My presentation is about why Iron Man is the single greatest superhero ever created and why you all should think so too. Uh, this year, Iron Man was ranked number 12 on IGN's list of top 100 comic book heroes. I personally believe that this number is far too high and he should be far more prominently listed on it. Alright, so Iron Man is also known as Tony Stark, genius billionaire and the best mechanical slash electrical engineer in the world. He is also an expert in computers, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Obviously, Iron Man has defeated many foes in his pursuit of justice. He has a number of less well-known accomplishments as well. For example, he became the Secretary of Defense for the United States of America. He took over as Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. after the uh, Superhuman Civil War. And he formed his own team called the Mighty Avengers, which is obviously way more awesome than the normal Avengers because they're mighty. <laughs> um, Iron Man is basically one giant weapon with a ton of like, little smaller parts attached. Each one of these parts is incredibly deadly. For example, um, some of these parts include his superhuman strength, he has missiles, he has repulsor blasters, he has a unibeam projector on his chest, um, he can fire sonic blasts, he, has a, he can fire pulse bolts, he has an electromagnetic field generator, um, and he has a 3D polymer projector that he could use to make decoys of himself. Uh, there's a ton more things in his arsenal that I can get into, but there's just, I don't have the time, and there's way too many for me to even begin to get into. Currently, Iron Man has created over 50 different suits. While this may seem excessive, um, each one of these suits was created with a different scenario in mind. Um, some notable examples of these suits include his stealth suit, his hydro suit, his space suit. He has the Hulkbuster armor, the Thorbuster armor, um, the Extremis armor, and War Machine. Uh, each one of these suits was created with a different purpose in mind. Therefore, there's a list of pros and cons associated with it. Uh, Usually these pros and cons are associated with uh, his firepower and or protection. Uh, currently, Iron Man has 114 known enemies. When you have this many enemies, obviously you're going to have some pretty epic battles that take place. Some notable examples of these battles were against Captain America, Doctor Strange, uh, he's fought Hawkeye, the Hulk, he's fought the Iron Monger, who you all should know is Obadiah Spain from the first movie, um, and Thor and War Machine Mark III. Also, he's fought um, Doctor Doom from the Fantastic Four universe, teamed up with Iron Man's future relative, known as Iron Man 90, er, 2093, to team to help fight him, which is just kind of awesome. <laughs> uh, in conclusion, Iron Man is an underappreciated superhero, and I would like to become the next Iron Man when I graduate from Tulane. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you. Uh, Captain America or Iron Man? John. What happened was Captain America put Iron Man on the ropes, but then he started feeling bad because he's like a wimp. So then he just like forfeit, and Iron Man became the director of Shield right after that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, at the end of uh, Captain America, they were on the same team. Yeah. This is this all takes place during the superhero civil war because later. I, Iron Man was fighting for superheroes revealing their secret identities, and Captain America was against it. So it led to this whole conflict. <laughs> I actually had a chance to watch a little bit of the Iron Man movie, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, first Iron Man movie is fantastic. It's not really my genre. It's so good. <laughs>